Trivia time. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to just blurt out the answer. I'm going to give you about five seconds for each one. So let's jump right in. What continent is Kenya on? All right, hopefully you all knew the answer to that, and Kenya is in Africa, okay? Kenya is in Africa. All right, question two. What are the two opposing colors in a game of chess? Black and white are the two opposing colors in a game of chess. Okay, now I want you to just name any animal. All right, raise your hand if you answered zebra to this question. Gotcha. Some of you may have also said an animal that lives in Africa or an animal that's black and white, so like penguin or lion, right? Um, so when asked this series of questions, 20% of people will actually answer zebra. But when asked to name an animal just randomly without the questions about Africa and black and white in front of it, less than 1% of people will name a zebra as their animal. So basically, I kind of tricked you into thinking about the thing I wanted you to think about, and that's called priming. So priming is a brain bug that can be used for good. So your teachers actually probably use priming when they're setting up their lessons plan, but it can also be used for less noble purposes than education. So politicians and advertisers use this trick to make you think about certain things as you say, walk into a grocery store or maybe even a voting booth. But priming is not the only brain bug. So if you've ever wondered why people are superstitious or thought about how advertising works or why people gamble even though they know the house will win, well, Dean Bunamano has some answers for you in his easy to read, extremely interesting book, Brain Bugs, How the Brain's Flaws Shape Our Lives.